lunch stop in the buffet. Beautiful place. I remember this route here yeah, vaguely from doing this in 2006. It was my first ever coast to coast in Scotland. From Alapur over to Bonham Bridge. Yeah, this is such a wonderful place to rest and have some lunch and the view is stunning. <laughs> Just looking out onto this beautiful lot. Uh, people have always cycled in the north um, of Scotland, but since the North Coast 500 came along, um, that's attached a great label to, to that whole area. But 500 miles is a long way for a lot of people to cycle in a, in a cycling holiday. And you know, at the average sort of, d of daily distance, it might take them up to two weeks, and, and not everyone gets two weeks to come and explore. I have arrived in the Black Isle Hostel. Unsure about it riding the North Coast 500 and some bits in between. I have planned this itinerary which incorporates parts of the route but also then uses historical paths, ancient paths. I'm really looking forward to pick up my bike tomorrow from Ticket to Ride which is a local bike hire provider and they've prepared a track road slash gravel bike for me so yeah, really, really chuffed to be here um, and to, to be back in the Venice and to ride this route and see what tomorrow brings and how much snow there is actually going to be. hotel room and Thich Nhat Eileen had some lovely breakfast and dinner yesterday night as well. I made it here just before the dinner cut-off time, which was fantastic. You would possibly say that was well planned, but it wasn't. I had a different route in mind, went up the Bjellachna bar and then quickly recognized that I was simply running out of daylight and, and time as well. And so I backtracked down the way I came and then took the road to Shield Egg. Yesterday was beautiful riding, um, it was one of those typical first days where you just kind of sit in the groove. I'm so so glad that I took my winter gear. Um, April in Scotland, don't be fooled, it can be pretty pretty cold.
quick update here from Alapool. The last section before Alapool, there was this path going off over a bridge and then a gravel path parallel to the road and then back on the main road. And that was possibly one of my favorite sections on the trip so far. It was just really nice, fast flowing gravel. Really enjoyed staying here at the Harbour House B&B in Alapool. It was, it was a lovely stay um, and I got greeted by Sherry and Shortbread when I arrived there. So that was even better. Beautiful ride here from Alapool, pretty much all the way east. And this is a classic coast to coast route. Cutting across here off-road and then rejoining the NC500 route on the east coast for a short stretch. And the whole idea of what I'm doing is to use the North Coast 500 to come up with an alternative itinerary. An itinerary you can do on a gravel bike. The higher bike I have is originally a road bike. We slapped some bigger tires on it and the gearing might be something worthwhile thinking about if you want to do it. My legs are fairly strong so I can ride big gears but that's possibly the only the only thing I would I would reconsider. Day four today, my last day on this yeah, what has been an amazing trip actually. I stayed in this amazing place last night. It's called White Rose Tower. It's just outside Invergordon and it's <laughs> it was it was quite surreal. It's basically staying in a castle and yeah, absolutely loved it. Super friendly owners as well. The hospitality was was fantastic. Yeah. 